Okay, so this is a tutorial video for the installation of uh, Ortho4XP under Windows. I've seen some users claiming that they had some issues with installation of some modules of Python that are required or with uh, image magic. So I will start from a fresh install of uh, Windows. This is Windows 7 and uh, we'll do it uh, together step by step. So first I go to my to the auto for XP for example uh, thread on explain.org and there you have a link if you are logged into my Dropbox. I will download it. I'm sorry, I just have a French version of Windows. Let's go to the downloads. Uh, not finished. There it is. I will extract and I will extract it to my home directory. Extract. This is done. So okay. Now you have a fresh install of Auto for XP. Auto for XP essentially is a script, so there is not many things to install. But as you see, here we have the the script file, and as is, it will not be recognized by Windows because we don't have a Python interpreter yet. So let's go and look for Python. Welcome to Python.org. Download. Let's see the full list of downloads. Mm. Where are we? 3. Point, well, we'll take the last one, the last version. And uh, we will want a Windows installer. So uh, let's see, I have a 64 bits computer, so that one should be fine. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so the first important thing, as you see here, is to add Python to your path, and then you can just install. Um, I choose the default directory. Um, my hard disk is waking up. Okay. There it is. Now we have Python. For example, if I shift right click and open the command window here, I should be able to type Python. And as you see now, we are in the Python interpreter. Uh, this is Python 3.5.2. And we have this version of the, uh, <coughs> of the compiler. OK. Now we have Python, but we need some modules with Python. Some libraries, if you wish, which are not uh, with the default install of Python. So we will look for Python uh, packages. And some tests are there, there are already. Windows and real file check. And this is the Christoph Gork uh, made some pre-compiled packages. So if you read <coughs> the introduction here, you'll see that some of the models which we will need requ require Visual C++ redistributable packages. And since we are we have downloaded Python 3.5, we will need the 2015 version, which we will download now. Okay, so you see we are, we are at Visual Studio and we will download the 64-bit version. There it is, and we will install it. Oops, I need to accept the license, I don't need it. back to 
list of packages. So uh, the packages which we will take from this website are GDAL. GDAL is GDAL. And so you have a number of files that may change with, with time. But what is important is that you see we have the 3.5 version of Python. So we will take one of these. And we have the 64-bit version of Python. So we will take that file. I take it and uh, okay, let's go back. The second one which we will look for is called PyProj. And again, I take that one. We will also take below, I can get directly there. No, let's do it properly. Right. Below, there it is. And here it's below. Okay, and I should have started because it is the largest one in terms of the size. This is the new P. more than 100 megabytes uh, okay so 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 what now we can install those models those that are already downloaded so shift right click open a command window and there are a few models that are not there but that are more common and which we will install directly so the command to install models with uh, for Python is called pip pip install and okay the first one we in install is a requests so this is a model which uh, I use for uh, easy uh, <coughs> HTTP connections and requests to for example the image servers okay and this is it now I will do pip install over so um, this is a model which we use for accessing the OSM data. And uh, okay, now install and those files which we have uh, downloaded. So for example, we have the pillow. So I start and I, tab, I type tab to finish, enter. This is it, Pip install. We had uh, NumPy is not finished, so PyProj. This is it, and uh, we still have uh, GDAL. This is it. What's missing? Uh, NumPy is missing. Still, NumPy is missing. Well, uh, during the time NumPy is. Uh, We'll finish to download. Uh, we'll go to the next requirements. Is image magic. Image, image magic. Okay, and there's an important step here because image magic has been updated to the seventh version and the syntax has changed. So, download. Uh, this is Unix binary, binary, Mac, and uh, iOS Windows. So we take the latest Windows one, download. Okay. directory next okay and this is the important thing author for xp rely on a utility called convert 
and uh, the syntax has changed in the new version but you can still use the old syntax by checking this install legacy utilities convert this is important if you don't do that that won't work uh, i don't want a desktop icon, icon and i oh, i'm okay to add the application directory to my system path click next install and this is it and uh, we will also need GIMP GIMP is used for example to create masks for the uh, blending of the sea with the, with the ground I take the last version I don't have BitTorrent on this new install of Windows uh, There is one step to be done with GIMP, so let's do it now. I go to my own directory, and you see there is nothing here related to GIMP yet, but I will just launch GIMP, and that will create where is GIMP, GIMP2 here. And you see it has created a dot GIMP2.8, and in that directory there is one called scripts which is empty initially I don't need to have GIMP open anymore we just we just did it so that uh, it creates that these uh, sets of directories and uh, okay now if I go here to my author for XP folder in the utils directory you have something called blurx.scm so this is a script for GIMP I have included other versions you can actually use the ones you please but in the end you need to call it blurx.scm you can also look inside it this is just scripts for GIMP and I will no I'm not used to Windows so I have to copy and I paste it in the GIMP.scripts directory paste and this is it. okay so now uh, we are almost finished for the installation we still need uh, now it is uh, the, the download of NumPy is finished I can install it through pip so I say uh, pip install NumPy blah 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 installing okay and so normally now we are finished with the install of uh, of for XP and we can check that it's working whether it's working so i double click auto for xp and i have a window which opens itself uh, let's see for example if we can access the map and the preview let's click preview it seems to be working okay and we can we can even do a quick tile this is a small there is just one island on this so it's going quick uh, let's do the I will make some videos uh, <coughs> some other videos to explain the the use and uh, of the app but for the moment let's just do this uh, I want to do masks now or we can even do masks if we wish let's do masks just to check that everything is working it's 
transmit a Gaussian blur. So that takes a bit of time because the images on which we do this Gaussian blur is about, uh, if I remember well, something like 30,000 per 20,000 pixels. If you look on the uh, windows, uh, you see you'll see this uh, GIMP wire read error. Don't pay attention to that. This is normal between bracket. Uh, there is our application. So we have finished with the mask and now we can build the tile. So it's now downloading the ortho photos, converting them to DTS. We can check. So all this will be made in that tile texture okay we have some dds texture that's fine uh, it hasn't done yet the how, how is it called the uh, earth not data directory because it has not finished this the esf file but it will soon appear actually this and this progress bar will be at the end but we can probably already see the jpeg of the photos which are here yes there are some there are 16 ah, yeah, those islands which i had not probably uh, <coughs> included in my zl18 polygon see it's almost finished waiting for all convert threads to finish it's finished now we have our auto for xp this is uh, something which you can put in a custom directory and uh, custom what's the name custom scenery i don't remember <laughs> yeah. okay this is it for the install under windows 